Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. This is going to be my three minute review of House at the End of the Street. This film came out last year in 2012. I didn't get to catch it in theaters because one, I wasn't really interested and two, I just didn't get a chance to see it. But I got to finally instantly see it from Netflix, so here it goes. The film stars Jennifer Lawrence and the movie is about when uh, she is dating this guy who lives in the house at the end of the street and that's all the plot details I'm going to give you. And so coming out of House at the End of the Street, this was a pretty bad movie, you guys. I gotta be honest. I just didn't really like this movie. Jennifer Lawrence, she's a good actress. I really enjoyed Jennifer Lawrence. Not only is she like one of the most beautiful actresses to be working in Hollywood, you know, she's got those cute charms and I just think she's a good looking uh, woman overall. But like her acting style and her skills, I really admired that. And uh, she was good in House of the End of the Street. She was actually the best part out of this whole film. Now, what didn't work for House at the End of the Street, though, was that it tried to be too scary. Like, I wouldn't really call this film a horror film. Like, in some ways, yes, you could call it a horror film. But I viewed it more as a psychological thriller film. And you don't really get into the house at the end of the street stuff until like the second half of the film. So the film does take a long time to build up to that. And like in a couple of moments there were a couple of times in the movie where I was like, huh, okay, that's kind of cool. But a lot of the things in this film are just so stupid. And acting wise... It's honestly not too bad. The acting really isn't that bad. The only bad actor, in my opinion, was the boyfriend, which is Max Theriot. Oh my gosh, I could not take that kid seriously. Every time he was on screen and with his acting, I'm more like, dude, just get off of the screen. It's just a stupid movie. A lot of things... Do not make sense. It is so predictable. I'm fine with cliches, but the just how the movie worked it out, it was just pretty sloppy. It's just a pretty bad film, and I really don't recommend it. And I definitely understand why it got such bad reviews. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power! And I give House at the End of the Street one and a half out of four stars.